Hi, I'm Aaron Contour, Chairman of FP Completes, and I'm here to share some of the best practices that we've learned about declarative infrastructure, how it can help your business, and how it can help with cloud computing and DevOps. In the past, infrastructure has always been a sort of a black art. We all have a few people on our teams who are really good at setting up servers and networks and storage and other types of infrastructure. And we count on them to provide a stable environment on which our applications can be built and deployed and run. But what is that environment? Can it be tested? Is it something that we've used before or is it different from the last one we used? Well, all of that information is hidden in the minds of a few wizard level staff members who know how to set up the infrastructure. Obviously, this was never going to last in information technology where reliability, security, and reproducibility are so important. Many companies have taken one step forward from manual infrastructure to automated infrastructure with tools like Chef and Puppet that allow you to script and describe how to set up a server or an application or a piece of storage. Automated infrastructure is at least something that can be kept under source control. And if you run the script again, the theory is it will do the same thing both times and you'll end up with a predictable sort of infrastructure. There's another level that's much more powerful than automated infrastructure and it's called declarative infrastructure. In declarative infrastructure, you define the state that you want your servers, your software, your data, and your cloud to be in. You don't list the exact series of steps needed to put it in that state because that will change over time as cloud facilities become more advanced, as you deploy new versions of middleware or infrastructure, as bugs are fixed, or most importantly, as the initial state changes. In other words, you may want to deploy an application today that you deployed previously, but from a different starting point. Declarative infrastructure puts this burden on the computer. By defining the endpoint that you want, by defining how you want your software and hardware to be set up and run, you allow the software to deduce the series of steps needed to take the cloud system from whatever starting point it's at, whether it's empty or already running, and move it into the state that you require. In declarative infrastructure, we put under source control files that describe the state our system needs to be in in order for our application to run properly. Now, if our wizard level operations employees go on vacation, that's perfectly fine. We don't have to know what was done yesterday and we don't have to know any secret formulas. We can take the declarative infrastructure description, which is a set of files under source control, feed them to the DevOps software and have it bring up systems in the necessary state using deduction and logic. Declarative infrastructure reduces mistakes and it reduces the security holes that come from errors and omissions and from unforeseen changes. If you're not using declarative infrastructure, it's very likely that even today, your servers are in a state that they've never been in before. We tend to treat servers as long running things that would be very expensive to take down and bring up. This isn't true anymore on cloud computing, but old habits die hard. When we take an existing server and modify it, putting on a patch, deploying a new version of one thing while leaving the old version of something else, we're often creating an unprecedented state in that server, a combination of current and previous conditions that's never been seen before and that is not the same as what was tested at the engineering lab. This is dangerous and it's a great formula for creating security holes or runtime bugs or other defects. Instead of taking existing servers and modifying them piece by piece by thinking, hmm, what could I change to make this server more like what I'm looking for? Use declarative infrastructure. Tell your DevOps software what state you need your servers to be in and allow it to deduce the necessary series of steps. And if you're unsure, have it start from a blank slate, bringing up new instances of everything. That's cheap to do on the cloud. Why not take advantage of the power of cloud computing? Declarative infrastructure is a great tool, and it takes your infrastructure from a black art to something well understood, clearly documented, 
reproducible, secure, and under source control. Even if key staff leave your team, the declarative infrastructure files will allow your system to rebuild itself or build a new version of itself at any time. It's a great technology and we at FD Complete recommend it. Our Cube360 series of DevOps software takes advantage of technology like declarative infrastructure and we'd recommend that you take a look.